Hello and welcome everyone to the War Thunder game. My name is Iron Rifle and in today's video well I will try to focus on the different kind of uh, ammunition racks or ammunition shells that were introduced to choose uh, for us into the game, into the recent patch. Well, first of all, let's see what are they. Because whenever you open any of your aircraft's uh, loadouts, you will see the shell rack here. And you do have a couple of options uh, to choose from. The default one, the omnipurpose, the uh, belt for air targets, belt with tracer bullets, and the uh, ammunition for stealth attacks. And as you can see, each belt is filled with those very weird, weird symbols. Uh, the AP, API, API, hay, uh, and hay bullets. Uh, do we have any other in here? Yeah, T, AP, again, very, very different, uh, different types of, uh, of ammunition. Well, you should remember there are only four basic uh, ammunition types, which are uh, HE, the high explosive ammunition, uh, AP, the armor piercing ammunition, I stands for incendiary ammunition, which means you burn up uh, on contact, but not, that's not the, uh, the full story for the incendiary ammo, and the T stands for tracer. Uh, and what I mean by the incendiary that they uh, that they burst on on flames well uh, no they are not filled with some uh, some napalm or, or stuff like that no 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 uh, the incendiary armor basically was filled uh, with the uh, I don't know the exact component but it was the chemical uh, chemical uh, stuff that was uh, supposed to set on fire whenever it touched the liquid. Uh, so how it's working in the game? Well, you do very often get hit in the fuel tank and you start leaving the uh, tracer of fuel behind you. You start losing your fuel. Uh, with that, whenever you hit with the incendiary uh, ammunition to the enemy plane, close enough to the, to the fuselage, uh, or to the hull of the of the aircraft, uh, you, then you have a chance to set it on fire because the fuel is there, and you probably noticed that already in the game. But now, what's the difference? Uh, what's this uh, API or HEI bullets? Well, they are combination of those uh, those basic ones. So, whenever you see the API you know that this will be armor-piercing incendiary ammo. Uh, whenever you see uh, HEI means it's high explosive incendiary ammo. And all of those uh, different types of ammunition can be explained that way. Uh, let me see if there are any other that I can find right now. Oh yeah. Uh, the hate shells <laughs> yeah you do hate your enemy so you want to use the hate shells well uh, this ammunition is as you can see IT which means incendiary tracer and then it's hate so high explosive incendiary tracer and what does that mean well you do want to do most damage to your selected group of targets so uh, for armored targets, you want to d use as much of armor penetration rounds as you can. So you do have uh, in your lineup, whenever you load your uh, machine gun belt, uh, ammun ammunition belt into your into your machine gun, uh, the order on which the bullets are set in this belt is that would be armor piercing the first round, second would be yeah armor piercing, third two, and then you will have the combination of both shells uh, 
well basically you, I can explain it like all of those combined shells so as you can see here the IT shell uh, will work like well if you do will uh, do have the normal incendiary shell it will work at 100% if you do add a component to it which is the tracer in that case in the IT case uh, that would be work as if you have 50% of incendiary and 50% of the tracer so your incendiary component on this bullet will be well I would say less effective the 50% less effective and that stands for uh, API2 the armor piercing component and the incendiary component will be reduced by uh, by half so whenever you will be f uh, will be shooting that bullet it only means that uh, you will do well 50% of the potential uh, of the potential of that bullet so let's say the armor piercing bullet itself do 100 damage to uh, to the enemy aircraft uh, so the armor piercer, piercing incendiary component uh, will do only 50 damage to, to the enemy aircraft but you do also have a chance to set him on fire so there might be a debate which uh, which ammunition is best for for you to use uh, which which ammunition you should go for well I am still deciding I didn't uh, well I didn't have that much time to to play the game in this week uh, but I am still trying to to decide which uh, which ammunition is the the best to go for uh, for air combat because well as you can see uh, you have the ammunition well for my shell rack 2 which is the cannon uh, I do have the air targets ammunition which is considered of the uh, incendiary tracer free high explosive and armor piercing incendiary uh, shell but then yet again you do have the ammunition for the armored targets which consider armor piercing three times and then incendiary tracer and you might say well you do want to high explosive you do want to more uh, more damage but in some cases in some aircrafts they do have uh, the protective armor around the uh, the pilot's cockpit uh, so using this ammunition this armor piercing ammunition uh, would be great for the head-on passes with the enemy uh, why well because you can penetrate fairly easy through his hole through his fuselage uh, and kill his pilot but all yet again remember head-on passing passes aren't the greatest option in the game and as usually after each patch there is a uh, very big confusion about all the new new changes and right now I am still deciding which uh, which shells I should go for because well the only purpose the armor piercing tracer armor piercing high explosive armor piercing incendiary well first of all I was thinking about going for the uh, high amount of incendiary ammunition uh, incendiary shells but after uh, after the new patch I did discover uh, that you can actually uh, whenever your aircraft sets on fire and you are fortunate enough to get away uh, from the from the enemy fight it can be put down I don't know what what's the change uh, if this is the random stuff that you have the 50% chance whenever you are on fire uh, to be destroyed or to uh, set the fire down but right now uh, I didn't die from the uh, from the my aircraft burning my fuel my leaking fuel was burning and I didn't explode it like it was before uh, before the 1.29 patch so right now I am deciding which ammunition is the best uh, right now as you can see here I didn't choose any uh, any ammunition because well the default ammunition they are giving us well they didn't say what it is 
what's the combination and that's the the bug I do think they do need to they need to change because well the different kinds of ammunition well the, their cost will differ uh, through the levels as you can see here uh, with my BF1, uh, sorry, Focke Wolf 190D13, the Gift aircraft, the cost of the of the ammunition is 78,000 credits, and I don't want to be spending almost 100,000 credits, uh, like you see here, over 1,000, uh, 120,000 or 160,000 uh, credits uh, for something that I won't be using right now, and that's why I on some aircrafts I did choose the ammunition because I want to test it out uh, and I mostly choose the the air targets ammunition with the uh, incinerary tracer free high explosion and armor piercing incinerary shell uh, in the in the rotation and I must say it is working I must say also I did on couple of aircrafts did choose the am uh, ammunition for armored targets and it was working as well too. Uh, I don't know it's if that's me uh, flying a different uh, different loadout, uh, sorry different different ammunition, or just the fact I was I was very lucky, but the results I was getting was very very close to to the default ammunition. I must say there was like I would say 10% increase uh, in 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 my effectiveness in uh, in air combat whenever I was using one of these uh, this uh, this ammunition this the shell rack ammunitions. So as I did say, I'm still deciding about uh, about them about the the ammunitions, uh, the different shell racks, the different uh, combination of of bullets. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. The second thing, there was some questions about what do I think generally about the uh, about the patch, about the 1.29 patch. Well, I would say after after this not well not full week of gameplay, but after the few days I, I was able to play in here, uh, I would say that the arcade version of this game did lose about 20 to 30 percent of its arcadiness <laughs> uh, if, if you can say uh, say something like that uh, I do feel like they are trying to get the uh, the flight model to as close resemblance to to the original to the uh, World War II aircrafts as they can in the well the computer game limits but I sometimes feel that they are overextending it uh, I did find myself into the few situations where uh, I wasn't able to to pull up the plane or to go with the turn finds with the usual planes that I, I was able to to some degree do it and I now I do find myself in the situation where well I cannot do that anymore. Uh, it's more important to play uh, to your role. So if you are an en energy fighter, you should go with the uh, boom and zoom tactic, as the well, all the Germans, the Fokker Wolves, the BF 109s are are good for. And you don't want to go with them with the turn fights. Uh, also, uh, with the British or the Japanese tree, uh, you should go more with the turn fights with the uh, with the enemy, with your zeros and or lower uh, lower tier aircrafts. Yeah, but the well, the thing is, the arcade supposed to, for me is supposed to be arcade. So I do have like. I don't know, one hour free during my day and I want to just relax myself and play the game and don't think too much, I should be able to. Right now it's, uh, well I know I am learning again how to fly each aircraft uh, and how to, well, deploy the aircraft to its uh, maximum potential, but then yet again uh, I do feel like 
well, it might be just me complaining uh, about it because well, I get used to to the arcade arcade version of this game. I haven't played that much in historical or full real battles, but I didn't play any full real battles. But I did play some historical with the well, I would say, <laughs> I would say I did survive few. <laughs> That's to say, uh, say, say the least. Uh, but then, yet again, I do feel like a bit of the arcadiness of this game was took out and replaced with the real realism into into it. Uh, okay, I do hope I did explain the the ammunition belts fairly, uh, fairly simple, and fairly. Uh, fairly accurate for you. If you do have any question uh, after after this video, feel free to post. I will try to to get to you as soon as I can. Also, I am uh, effectively trying to test out some different loadouts of ammunition and seeing if they are well, if they are truly giving you an edge. This 10%, as I did uh, did say before, for me it was about 10 to fi well maybe 15%. Uh, edge over over the standard default ammunition, but I, as I did say, I am still still deciding uh, about it. And whenever I will have any conclusions and the final verdict on them, uh, you can be sure you will be the first to to know. Uh, so yeah. But enough of the of the token. Uh, Enough of the all this uh, this uh, this technical stuff. I will try to uh, upload another video today. Uh, I, I probably it would be in the evening, with some of the some of the gameplay. Just to uh, just to say, well, I'm sorry for not releasing the videos uh, throughout the week, but as I did say before, my workload did change a bit, and I'm do have a bit. A bit of a struggle right now, uh, but to to say sorry uh, to all of you, I will get to the mission video later on today, and I will probably upload this today, so you probably see it on my channel tomorrow. Uh, just to say I'm sorry for <laughs> for not releasing the video uh, during the week. Uh, also, by the small steps, I am getting closer to, to to 500 subscribers, and probably at the at the amount of 500 subscribers, I am planning some some little treat for for all of you. Uh, but that will stay as a surprise for for later on. Uh, well, it won't be something big. I no, I won't be giving away uh, tons of gold. Uh, I won't be giving. Uh, well, I will try to give something from myself to 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 the all of you, but yet again, uh, that won't be a gold. So, just just for you know, just you won't be disappointed. My goal right now is the 500 subscribers, and if whenever that happens, well, you will see what's what will be going on then. Uh, again, if you do have any other question regarding the the new patch, or you want to you or you want me to to do something like like the uh, tier nine aircrafts only, or uh, see a video on a specific plane, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I will do a video about it if it, if it is uh, in my possibilities. Uh, you can pretty much uh, see what aircrafts I do have. Uh, I know I was asked to do a very big amount of the B-17s videos, but right now I am planning on buying the uh, B-25s, both of them, and give them a go uh, in some in some missions just to see uh, how they will perform. Uh, but right now, for the B-17s and the B-24. I will say it as I did said before, it's way too expensive to run those planes. Basically if you have to pay like, if I do take both of those B-17s uh, on the tier 13, I would have pay in repair 45,000 credits. And 
well I didn't see a mission right now that uh, well there was a couple of missions that I earn over uh, 45,000 credits but they, there, that was a couple of missions so losing those two aircrafts would mean that I have to pay for the for the mission instead of earning some money on it but that was uh, just to let you know well I might try to get some B-17 footage for you uh, depending on uh, on few things but first of all uh, yeah that would be it that would be the end of this uh, today's very short video the quick uh, I would say the quick update on the uh, on the ammunition racks you can you can choose uh, I do hope you did understand what I was uh, what I was saying uh, and yeah that would be it for today again like the video if you like, subscribe to my channel if you think I'm doing something wrong or you do enjoy my videos and want to have the, uh, the recent updates whenever I post the video. And that would be it for today. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. And Iron Rifle out.